Okay, everybody, today I wanted to do a video on how the Prius handles hills. So, more specifically, I want to explain to you what the B mode does and show a demonstration of what exactly happens when you put the car into B mode versus when it's not in B mode. So, let's go ahead and take a quick jaunt up this, um, up this big hill. Uh, it's actually a ski hill, so there's a fairly good um, incline here. We've got the car warmed up, um, but it is 29 degrees outside, so it is a bit chilly. Uh, so let's start off and just kind of see what uh, you can expect for gas mileage going up steep hills. So if you're gonna do mountain climbs, uh, this is not technically a mountain. Um, it's uh, like I say, a ski hill, but we will just go ahead and see how she does. Um, I drive with the car in eco mode about 99% of the time, so I'll just leave it there uh, for these purposes, and um, you know, we'll just go ahead and see what happens. As we're slowing down, the car is not hesitating to go into um, EV mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, this still is not at all by any means the steepest part of this climb. And we'll kick back into gas. I am expecting terrible gas mileage going up the hill. Um, and we are starting off here with a fairly full battery. We got six out of eight bars. And we are in a 25 mile an hour zone. So, before we get started on the descent here, um, for those of you that don't know, the Prius has what's called a CVT transmission, which means it's continuously variable, there's no gears, so the Prius does not shift, and this is, um, you know, something that I think a lot of people probably don't even notice, uh, but the car does not shift, so there's not gears like in a traditional vehicle, and this is a type of technology that's been out for quite a while, and lots of car manufacturers are using it now so it's not even just for hybrids it's you know something a lot of uh, different companies are using now and um, when you drive it and you know it has it you pay attention you you I think you notice it you know you know the car is not shifting um, it's actually quite smooth I've never owned a vehicle um, like this before but it is smooth it has plenty of power um, you know, I was kind of uncertain uh, on how that would work, you know, in a traditional vehicle, if you want to pass someone, the car will drop down um, a few gears and, you know, give you maximum power for passing. And this, you know, it feels quite the same. It uh, almost simulates that, uh, that gear drop uh, and gives you maximum power. So. Um, we're kind of nearing the top here. We're getting 24.3 miles to the gallon, and we're still at six out of eight bars on the battery here. So we'll just kind of get to the top, and then we will come back down and see what the difference is. We'll leave it in regular drive mode, and then we'll put it in B mode. So B mode is, getting back to the point here, um, in a traditional vehicle to save your brakes, if you're going down a mountain, you want to drop it down a gear and let the engine and transmission slow you down so you don't wear your brakes out. That is what B mode is supposed to simulate in a CVT car much like this, the Prius. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do a U-turn here. All right, so as you can probably tell, the car is in regular drive mode right now. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start off and we are going to just see what happens if we leave it in regular drive mode. So this is just regular driving. You're not really paying attention. You're going down a steep um, decline and foot is completely off of the gas pedal at this point. We're in EV mode. And we are picking up speed rather quickly here. We're ready going five over and it's starting to get away. So let's go ahead 
and drop the car into B mode while we're driving. Let's just see what happens. Okay, drop it in B mode and immediately I could feel the car grab. So this is um, actually pretty cool. I don't have my foot on the brake at all. This is pretty steep right now and we're barely gaining any speed. The speed limit again is 25 miles an hour and um, this is, you know, like I say, a fairly steep ski hill. When I've done this test in a vehicle, we have a six speed automatic transmission in our, our SUV and it will not grab as hard as this is grabbing now. I can downshift all the way down to about second gear, which is fairly aggressive. And I have to have my foot on the brake with that. This is grabbing awesome. I mean, I'm not having any feeling of putting my foot on the brake at all. And actually, I'll probably have to hit the gas pedal here um, because it is grabbing so hard. So again, I've not touched the gas at all. We are charging the battery here. We've regenerated up to seven ace bar. I have never had eight out of eight bars in the battery in this car ever. Um, and our gas mileage is going up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gas here. Um, one interesting thing here too is the gas engine is running, which kind of surprises me. There is really no reason for the gas engine to be running at this point. So that must have something to do with B mode being engaged. Um, and on the screen here, it's showing we are putting juice back into the battery and we're all the way down to 20 miles an hour here, 19 and dropping. Um, so let's go ahead, hit the gas here again, get us back up to speed and I'll let off and I can feel it grab instantly. It's noticeable difference. There are people that actually drive in B mode full time. Um, I've been told not to do that, to just let the car go in regular drive mode. Um, and actually, we're getting to the base of the hill here, so I will show you, as you're driving, you will shift back into drive, just like you will if the car was parked, to get it back into regular drive mode. And the second I do that, um, I can feel a difference. The car let go, lets go, um, and it almost feels like you took a break off. It almost feels like you had the emergency brake partially engaged. And boy, I would venture to guess even on some steep uh, mountain descents, um, that would really do a good job for you without having to even touch the brake at all. And interesting, interestingly enough, I've got a fully charged battery for the first time ever. And I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, it's not in EV mode right now. So even though we're out of B mode, um, the electric only is not kicking on at all. So let's see if when we come to a stop here. No, it's not kicking EV mode. Oh, there we go. So it finally kicked into EV. We have got a full battery for the first time in seven months of ownership, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, we've got another decline here. This isn't nearly as strong as the, or as steep as the other one, and we are gaining speed in regular drive mode. So um, I hope this video helped. I just want to do a quick video for those of you that did not understand um, what B mode does and when to use it. This is exactly when you want to use it. So uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more Prius videos.